Hello, thank you for tuning in. About 28 days ago, I posted a video called Honest Fitness Journey. And what I wanted to do was, well, I wanted to lose about 10 pounds-ish. And rather than losing it and then doing a video how I lost 10 pounds or something like that, I thought, you know, I'm gonna do this kind of in real time because I can be more honest and I can share my ups and downs with you. And maybe you or other people are trying to do this too. And I just felt like this might be more inspirational. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, I am not a fitness professional. I am just a regular woman over 50. I'm 61 now. And I happen to have been on a diet for about 53 years. I actually did the math today for this video. Yep, I've been on a diet since about third grade. So, you know, I've learned a lot about it. I mean, one of my favorite sayings, and I think I may have even made it up for myself, is if you gotta do it, learn to love it. And that's what I have done. I have been researching and learning about food and nutrition and weight and fitness and all that stuff for many years although I'm not a professional, but I've done a decent job with it. I usually am somewhere within 10 pounds of maybe where I would like to be, and I am within the recommended weight generally, usually at the top or tipping over just a tad. So I thought, you know, I really wanna get in great shape uh, for looks and vanity for sure, but also for health reasons. This video is about the successes and challenges and some solutions that I'm going to implement now that I am 28 days into this journey. Successes, I do have some notes here. I have been working out regularly and this is the easy thing for me. I like to exercise and I like working out and being active. And I would suggest that if you have something that you really like, to go ahead and start with that. It's a great way to start because you get some motivation and you get going with it. And that's what I've done. So I have been working out and what I've been doing is weight training. I do like some resistance training. I've been especially working on my back and posture muscles and my core. I incorporated walking back into my routine. I used to walk all the time and I loved it so much. Not only is it good for me physically, and I think for a lot of people, it's also good mentally. It's just relaxing and I love it. And I really think that walking has made a big difference. I also use the elliptical at the gym. I do go to the gym. We have a gym membership to a lovely gym but I also work out at home. You don't need a gym membership to exercise. I worked out at home most of my, you know, dieting journey. I don't really like the word diet, but I'll use it because we know what we're talking about. Uh, now I'm older, I do have a little more money and I can go to a gym too if I want to, but you don't have to. I also work out at home a lot too. For me, the weight training really helps. It's something that my body likes. And not just weight training, I also volunteer uh, to do some invasive species removal out of creeks. And it's very uh, backbreaking, labor intensive work, but I love it and my body likes it. So I feel stronger. I feel stronger. I feel a little lighter. You know that feeling where, uh, your body just feels lighter. It doesn't feel like a burden to walk. And I can see some of my muscle tone coming back and that's been really exciting. So I've been successful there. If you have things that you love to do, swimming, golfing, whatever it is, bird watching, I mean, anything that just gets you out and moving can really, it just makes you feel better. I believe it will make your body feel better. So, you know, if you're kind of thinking about this or struggling with this, do something that you love to do. You can always start there. I have been doing good food prep. For me, that is really, really important. As I mentioned, I've been doing this for a very long time and over time I've become 
you know, fairly knowledgeable about what I'm putting into my body. And so for me, I really like to prepare my own food. Now there are good pre-prepared options. You know, I'm not sure who's watching this. Some people may be seasoned in their fitness journey and some people may be just beginning. If you're just beginning, just improve. That's what I would suggest. Just make an improvement over what you're doing now. There was a time in my life when I would go get like lean cuisines and things like that and bring them to work because it was easy and fast. And it was better than say going to the fast food restaurant. So wherever you're at, make an improvement. For me, I do like to prepare my own foods and I've been taking the time to do the food prep. That's, you know, for me, it's important and it makes a big difference in how I feel and my success. Something else I've been doing is supplementing. I have not taken supplements on a regular basis. I always feel like, no, I want to get my nutrients from food. And I do believe in that, but something made me want to start supplementing. And I did. I've got um, an everyday woman's vitamin, a mega stress B vitamin, a multi B vitamin. Um, I got some vitamin C and some vitamin D, especially the D because, you know, I can't be in the sun as much as I would like to. I am getting a little sun, but that's not this video. Anyway, I have to say, oh my gosh, I'm feeling great. I don't know if it's the walking, the weight training, or the supplements or a combination of all, but I really think that the supplements are helping. And I don't take everything you know i supplement just like that word is supplement i take like i'll take this one day then maybe another day i'll take um i usually take two of these i think this serving or dose is three i'll usually take two you know i don't take everything every day but just supplementing a little bit honestly it's making i feel great as far as my actual weight goes, I haven't really lost much weight from 28 days ago. Um, I actually went up about a half a pound, and then I went down about half of that, so a quarter of a pound. I think my weight is somewhere in the same area. I'm gonna talk about what I'm gonna do about that in a minute. But, you know, weight is a tricky thing. I have been doing resistance tra training. Maybe I'm putting on a little muscle. Muscle weighs more than fat. Maybe it's that. Um, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just, you know, evening out. That's okay with me. I've been at this a long time. I slow and steady is the way to win, win the race, at least I think. So my weight, it hasn't changed much since 28 days ago. However, <laughs> I did put on a pair of pants, was it yesterday? Day before yesterday, and it, they're a pair of pants that they're always a little too tight. So I, I avoid them, right? Because I don't want to, it depresses me when I put on pants and they're too tight. I dared to put them on the other day and they weren't too tight anymore. Oh, that was such a great feeling. So I have had some successes. And if you're on this journey, I hope you've had some successes. And um, what I would just say is it's a lifestyle, really. It's really a lifestyle. That's why I don't like the word diet. Uh, it, it's not, it, it, it makes it sound like it's a temporary thing and it's not. It's a lifestyle. So you keep on plugging on. And the beauty about it is that not only do you look and feel better, you're just, it's good for your health. So uh, don't get discouraged and keep on going, even if you plateau a little. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about some of the challenges that have come up, which is perfectly fine and normal, but we just need to look at them and figure out solutions for them. All right, as I mentioned, I do feel a lot better. Um, I can see some muscle tone, so that's super exciting, but I'm not really losing a lot of weight, I think that I need to count calories for a while. If you haven't counted calories ever, 
you kind of need to for a little while. You need to use an online calculator and figure out how many calories you need. Now what I do now, after years of dieting, I put in the weight that I want to be and say maintain that weight. And I see how many calories that is because it really is a lifestyle. And what that teaches me is this is how you have to eat to maintain that weight because you can lose weight as soon as you start eating more calories and go off your routine, you're going to gain it right back again. So this was a revelation I had, I don't know, seven or eight years ago, and I don't know why everybody doesn't do it. Um, it's slower, but that's what I do. Now, if you're very overweight, it may not be enough calories for you because you need more calories, right? Because you're essentially weightlifting. As you lose weight, it's kind of a you know, catch 22, but your body needs less calories. So play around, play around in a calorie counter. See what the difference is. This was very eye-opening to me. What's the difference between, I'll use myself for example, the calories I need to maintain 120 pounds, which is where I'd like to be, and the calories it takes to maintain 130 pounds, which is about what I've maintained at for a long time, you'll find it's really not that many calories. Um, but anyway, it's fun to kind of poke around like that, but you should have some idea of how many calories you need. Now for me, because I'm like 5'1", I like to say I'm 5'2", but I really think I'm more closer to 5'1", especially these days. Uh, I don't need very many calories. I think to maintain 122 pounds, I need like 1,450 or something like that. And if you've ever counted calories, you know that is not very much. So for me to really get down in those last few pounds, or if it's you and you're trying to get down those last few pounds, you have to really hone in on those calories. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I need to do it. I need to do that to push myself over that edge a little bit. Another challenge I've been coming up against is I'm hungry. <laughs> You know, if you're, if you up your exercise, especially if you're doing some resistance training or weight training, your muscles will start screaming at you for food. And that's where I feel like I am right now. My muscles are hungry. My body is hungry, hungrier than it was even 28 days ago. So I get that food prep really important for me. I have to make sure that there is something I can go eat in the fridge, some high protein, 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 protein. It's what makes the difference for me. So I need to make sure I've got high protein meals and snacks that are easy for me to eat because I don't want to have to prep something. I mean, I just know myself and I think most people are this way. If it's going to be a big hassle every time, it's so much easier just to go to a drive through or to snack on things that really aren't good for you. They're not really nutrient dense foods. And that's what happens. So I have been doing more food prep, as I mentioned, but I need to do more meals and also snacks. I need some high protein, high fiber snacks so that when I'm starting to feel that feeling like I'm hungry, I can go get one of these good for me snacks rather than, you know, we always have candy in the house. It's, you know, my husband, he likes all that stuff. And of course he has the metabolism. He barely ever gains a pound. So I have to resist that stuff. So I have to have my healthy snacks ready. Um, once again, I've made some videos and I will link, I have one about healthy snacks and I'll, I'll link it below. So that's something I need to do. And I think I need to eat a little more with my meals, a little more protein, a little more fiber, even a little more fat. You gotta have some fat. Don't eat a bunch of fiber without drinking lots of water and having some fat in your diet, okay? Otherwise, you know, you may end up having to try to pass a Presto log and it's not fun. It's happened to me before. I'm going to start drinking more water, making sure I'm hydrated, hydrated. There was a time, oh gosh, it was a while ago now, probably seven years ago, I was really paying attention to drinking lots of water, tea, you know, really hydrating fluids, and it made a difference.
Another thing I really have to look at, and this is again, especially because I just don't have a big variance in my calorie allotment. I'm just not very tall. Um, so I just don't need that many calories. So a little bit goes a long way for me, either direction, which is good. So I really have to watch the empty calories and that's something I know I need to do. Like I mentioned, you know, I'll go grazing on candy if I don't have a good snack or I'll eat too many nuts. Nuts are a, a favorite snack of mine and they're a good snack, but they're high calorie, they're very dense. So you only should eat a few, you know, you can't eat a bunch of them and I end up eating too much. Um, also alcohol, I do love a cocktail now that I, especially since I'm retired, you know, every night, Saturday night. So I really have to watch that. Also, you know, alcohol is just not good for you in general anyway. Um, but from a calorie perspective, it's quite caloric. You know, you can easily drink three, four, 500 calories, uh, if you're not careful and it's doing nothing for your body. In fact, it's probably not good for your body. So I have to watch that. What else? Oh, the other thing are the, the pre-meal meals that we uh, tend to do. Things like chips and salsa, bread and oil, or bread and butter, cheese and crackers, you know, all those things that uh, sometimes we eat before we eat. If in my case, you know, I really don't have the room for that or a little bit. I mean, you know, Look, I'm all about living life. You know, this channel is about living life to the fullest, especially um, for us folks over 50. But I really have to watch that. Have a little, have a little taste, enjoy. But, you know, I can't eat too much or that's my dinner. And the same goes with dessert. Have a bite. Have two bites. But then I need to stop. So that's where I'm at 28 days in. Let me know if you liked this video, if you'd like me to change it up at all, if this is interesting to you or not, if this kind of live time uh, strategy is inspiring, which is kind of why I wanted to do it. Um, and I will do updates from time to time. I think I'm gonna try to do a video update once a month and then um, some shorts and some Instagram posts as I'm going along if something seems inspiring that I think is inspiring to you. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a beautiful day.